hello everyone welcome back to my channel in today's tutorial i'll be showing you how to draft a one shoulder illusion neckline bodice this is a requested uh, video from one of my subscribers so um if you're new to my channel you're welcome and if you haven't already subscribed please do so i also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever i upload new videos so we'll be drafting this um, bodice on a pattern paper first and later I will use a muslin fabric to show you how to put it together. So the first thing that you're going to do is draft your armhole princess that on a pattern paper. You draft the front and the back. I also have um, a video tutorial on how to draft the new, uh, princess, um, armhole princess that bust here on my channel and I'll leave the link in the description box so you can watch that if you don't already know how to draft one okay so once you finish drafting it you go ahead and cut out your pattern like this so i'm cutting out the front pattern first you follow the line along just like i'm cutting it here to cut it out So once you cut it out, you cut the back piece as well. And this is what you're going to have for the front. So now for the front, we're going to create the illusion neckline. On the waistline, go in by half an inch. You can also do 0.5 inch or one inch, depending on how open you want your um, neckline to be. And then on the neckline, go in by two inches. You mark two inches like this, then you use your French curve. You place your French curve like this. From the uh, 0.5 inch mark we did, marked on the uh, waistline, you place your French curve and then um, I use that pencil to trace it out. So as I'm tracing it out, I'm moving my uh, French curve because mine is not long enough to connect all the lines at the same time. So I just keep moving it up until I get to the two inches mark I made, I marked on the neckline. Okay, so once I trace it out, I just use my marker and um, to mark it right out so you can be visible. And this is what you have once you mark it out. So if you wish to just uh, have a straight uh, V neck line, you can do that. You just press your place your ruler and uh, um, draw a straight V neck line. So I mark this as my yoke because we'll be replacing it with a net fabric when we cut it on the fabric. So once you finish cutting it out, you open up your bodice and open up your um, front bodice. Then on the back bodice, uh, you fold in the zipper allowance. So fold in your zipper allowance like this. And the back bodies, uh, the, the inside will be facing up like this. And now for the back, uh, the front bodies, the right side will be facing up. So you match um, both pattern on the shoulder and on the sides so that we can create the one shoulder. So make sure that every uh, you match these things uh, correctly like that. So once you're, you're satisfied with that, you decide which side you want your one shoulder to fall. You can do it for the right side or the uh, left side. For me, I prefer to have mine on the left side. Okay, so I'm just going to label that and label the left and the right side. And now from the left uh, 
armhole you go down by five inches and then again on the center front you come down by five inches you can do lower or higher depends on you how open you want yours to fall okay so i'm making sure that this properly aligned so once i i line that on the tip of the neckline on the shoulder line i will go in by half an inch and then from that half an inch i begin to mark a dotted line to meet the five inches on the on the center front and also down to the five inches on the armhole the left armhole So like I said, you can make yours lower or higher, depends on you. You don't have to use five inches, you can use four, you can use six, it depends on how low you want yours to be. Okay, so once I finish marking that out, I'll go ahead and cut this out. All right, I'm just making sure I have the correct um, measurement. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. So once you cut it out, so you notice that the illusion neckline we made earlier um, was cut out. So all you have to do is come back on the neckline after you've uh, created the one shoulder, you come back on the neckline and measure out the same two inches again. Then you can use a French curve and connect it to the rest of the lines uh, that we made earlier, just like this, okay? And then we're going to go ahead and cut out the dots So we continue cutting it out. So I um, you can follow me on my Instagram, and we have a Facebook page as well, and a Facebook a group where we share our tips on sewing and pattern drafting. And you can make requests uh, if you have any design or tutorial that you like me to see on those uh, social media so i will leave the link and and um in the description box so you can uh, follow me on those uh, social media as well so once we finish cutting out the sides um the side uh, pattern we go ahead and cut out the yoke just like i'm showing you here and as you can see once you start cutting when you get to this side where it's slanted you turn it over and measure the two inches again and then open it up uh, to finish cutting out the yoke. So you just blend in the two inches like I'm showing you here. And then you go ahead and cut it out. Okay, so you guys can follow me on the social medias that I mentioned, our Facebook page, a Facebook group, and my Instagram. So all the information will be in the description box below. And so you guys can check that out. Okay, so this is the front after you finish uh, cutting it out. This is what it looks like. All right. And then I'm just going to label my side fronts. And then... Um, my center front one and center front two and then i'll label the yoke so the yoke will be cutting it on a net fabric or whatever contrast uh, fabric that you're using all right now i'm going to put that aside and then finish cutting out the back piece 
So for the back piece, remember I said if you don't want yours to be like a princess seam, you can just use the waist uh, dot. All right. But I'm using for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm using um, princess seam for the back. So I go ahead and cut that. So once you finish cutting it out, you can see you have like a pointy um, on the zipper. So I just trim that off and then open up my zipper. So once I finish cutting that out, I went ahead and cut them out on my muslin fabric. And for the yoke, I left uh, half an inch all around for the same allowance to join it to the center front. And now this is the back piece. All right. So we'll be joining the side, um, the side back to the center back. And now the same for the front. We're going to join the yoke to the center front first before joining the side uh, front. So now this is what it looks like after I've pinned it down. This is the front and you can see the yoke in the middle. I'm using a net fabric. And then this is the back after I pinned it down. So I'm going to sew them down and show you what it looks like. So once you finish sewing, the next thing is to join this shoulder and the sides. So here I'm joining the, the yoke to the center front. And I'm using a dark fab, uh, a dark um, thread, so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, like I said, this is a mock uh, fabric. I'm using a muslin fabric just to show you how to join them. But when you're sewing it on your real fabric, you have to use the matching thread, okay? So after you sew sewn it, uh, this is what it looks like for the front. However, if you we if you leave it as is, then the seams will be showing through the net. So in order to avoid that, you're going to pin it um, to the sides and then top stitch. And then you have a clean finish. And this is the back. I joined it together as well. Now I'm going to place the front and the back together. We're going to join it on the shoulder and then on the sides. So this is what it looks like after you have finished joining them. Okay, and then I'm going to, the zipper will be in the middle. And um, yeah, so you can use any type of sleeve you want to finish this off. You can also decide to create a different style by having um, another sleeve, an off shoulder sleeve for the left. So this is uh, what it looks like on my mannequin and you can see where the net is. And I said, if you want the net to be um, wider, you can, you know, change your measurement. It totally depends on you. So yeah, this is what it look like so far okay so um i hope this tutorial has been helpful and if you have please like comment share and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so and i will see you on my next video bye for now